Good morning, YouTube. I uh, got a little lucky again this morning. Well, actually, I'm not going to say lucky because I did do put work into uh, hunting 22 long rifle down. Well, this morning, I took a look on um, the uh, Walmart website and I saw that uh, 22 long rifle again was coming into the area. Now, think about uh, Walmart. Certain stores have uh, this 550 round. Uh, boxes at uh, one price and then other Walmarts in the general vicinity have it at a higher price like four bucks higher so um, I made up my mind that I'm only going to try to run the 550 box down at uh, the lower price which is 1977 so anyway um, I, I looked uh, on the site and saw that uh, this 550 box was coming into two uh, two different stores this morning. One of them fairly close to me, but it was at the higher 23 uh, 23 dollar, I guess uh, whatever it is, 97 cent price, and at a store about 30 minutes away at the 1977 price. So I decided to go for the 1977, saving four bucks per box, which you know gas wise, I'm, I'm still making out. So I cruise over to uh, the Walmart store this morning. And uh, I get there at 7, I say, oh man, there's going to be a bunch of people here waiting for this stuff. I walk in, nobody there. You know, nobody in uh, sporting goods and nobody waiting. So finally a guy came over to sporting goods and tells me that they can't start selling uh, 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 ammunition until, uh, well, no, I take that back. What he said was that there was none in the case and that he couldn't go back to check for um, the 550 box until 8 o'clock. He's not allowed to do it. So I thought that was kind of crazy, but I was getting ready to accept that. Then a, uh, a uh, supervisor happened to be walking through and I saw a sign that says, I was of operation sporting goods 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I questioned the supervisor and she said, no, that's not true. Uh, but that uh, there wasn't uh, any uh, 22 long rifle. I said, no, I checked your site and then I checked a, a second site and it says that you have it. So she, uh, she went to another lady that, that worked in the area the previous night and was, who was supposed to have put the ammunition out and asked her if she had put ammunition out. The lady said, no, uh, she hadn't had time to put the ammunition out. So the supervisor walked to the back and um, said uh, she was going to go look for it. She came out about five minutes later and said, look, you know, she pulled a print out. It showed that they had it, but uh, she couldn't find it, but she was going back in there to, to go locate it. Anyway, lo long story short, about 20 minutes later, um, I had uh, gone for a soda, came back, um, waited for a little bit, then said, hey, I'm just going to walk over to Sporting Goods. Within that period of time, she had already gone to Sporting Goods, had the ammunition pulled out, and had three boxes put to the side for me. So, you know, I was really uh, happy about that. I wish I could get over there and, and double dip, but there's like no way. So, uh, just for you guys, uh, you know, to uh, know, um, you really got to push these guys when you see ammunition coming up on the site because the first thing in the, out of their mouths is uh, the site is probably wrong. We don't have any. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. But if you stick to your guns and ask them to, uh, number one, uh, go look again, and then number two, uh, each store has an in-store inventory list that they can print. And uh, once they print that out uh, for your item, they can actually see that they have it, and that's what will make them uh, go find the ammunition that you're looking for so that you don't waste a trip. Anyway, um, I'm going to stay away from Gander. I think they were selling uh, selling uh, some 22 long rifle again this morning. But uh, at this price, uh, I, I'm just I'm not going to get greedy. I'm just going to uh, keep trying to stock up on this because when they stop selling it, you're not going to see it for months. Anyway, take care. Have a great day.